Well, I know the game got separated there at the end, but there were some th a lot of things to like. You know, a lot involving Blake Snell's performance. Uh, probably the best performance we've seen from him this season. Uh, he came out and said what he was going to do as far as throwing throwing the fastball, committing to the fastball. He did that. And then as the game went on, you saw him open up um, some off speed. The changeup was really good today. Um, you know, even in the first inning, the jam that right right there, three pitches in, nobody out, where guy on third to, to be able to prevent that guy from scoring was pretty telling. So really excited to see that's hopefully something that he can uh, kind of latch on to and, and build from. Offensively, um, <laughs> Kevin Gosman's tough. I mean, uh, we, we, we've seen him. His, our last two opportunities against him, it's been very similar results. Just a lot of uh, a lot of miss, not too much hard contact. He mixes speed. He's got the fastball. He threw the fastball where he wanted to. You could tell that he was trying to go up and into certain guys, down and away to others. Um, he made it very difficult. So uh, we just got to continue as this little bit of a funk here goes. We got to find a way to to get ourselves out of it and come to the ballpark the next day ready to win. You mentioned a lot of things to like about Blake Snell. What about his just consistency from in each inning to each inning? Yeah, uh, I mean, he was um, very consistent. I mean, he had a couple short innings there where, you know, his pitch count was really low. He had a seven-pitch inning, um, you know, stayed under 15 for pretty much the whole game. That's what allows him to get deep into the ball game. that and, and getting out. Um, really did a nice job of limiting the walks. Uh, you know, the play at the, there, his last battery face, that was pretty unfortunate. A uh, bunt that didn't go our way, that's kind of the way it's gone the last uh, four days. A couple things haven't gone our way, but um, I'm very, very happy for Blake Snow. The Orioles had a couple of big double plays. What are your thoughts on just the job Manny Machado did tonight at third base? Yeah, don't hit it to him. We we'll talk about that in the advanced report. Just avoid Manny at all, at all costs. It's a highlight reel every single night, so... He's a special player. And what's the update on Wilson Ramos? Uh, Wilson, he's fine other than the fact that uh, I think he has six, five or six staples in his head. Uh, he won't play tomorrow um, or won't start, I should say, but we're, we're confident that uh, he feels good. Uh, so a little bit of a scare there, but, I mean, I think Wilson would have preferred to stay in the game. We just weren't able to prevent him from, you know, stop the bleeding. What happened? It looked like the hit the back of the helmet. Did it pinch the front? I, I, I didn't see it. I, I know the bat hit. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I mean, the bat impacted the helmet, and then something pushed it on, on his head to kind of split him open there. He didn't go to, like, concussion protocol. No. No, he seems totally fine. How about what you think of Romo? Um... Well, I mean, he, he, he hasn't pitched in quite some time. That was part of the reason, get him, get him out there, uh, get him in the situation. I like the, the mix of the fastball slider. Um, I think we're going to see him get better as, as uh, more appearances come his way. Uh, I went underneath and looked at a couple pitches live, and, you know, he's got a lot of sweep to the slider. It looks like once he gets going and commanding the ball the way he wants, that's going to give some, uh, some right-handers some issues at the plate. Blake had never gone seven before. He started the eighth. What gave you the confidence to bring him back out there for the eighth when he was over 100? Yeah, just the way he threw the ball leading up to that. I mean, a lot of our decision is based on how these guys are performing, and uh, Blake, to me, deserved to go back out there tonight. Uh, we had it kind of set up where uh, Romo was going to be on Jones regardless, but uh, he threw the ball really well. I was happy for him, and like I said, let's, let's you know think that he's going to build off this now. Kevin, I know you've been, you've talked a lot about uh, the the losing streak, mm -hmm. but what does a team need to do to break out of a funk like this? And yeah, um, you know the big hit is probably eluding us a little bit right now. Um, you go back to that Texas series; there just weren't a lot of big hits. Um, now we had leads, uh, but when the game got tight or tied or or we were down, we just couldn't quite find that that hit. I mean, I think Malik's. Leads off whatever inning it was with a triple, and that's pretty telling. We, we weren't able to get him in, and that's generally not what we've done this year. We'll, we'll get back to doing that. Is that sort of the same the th same thing with like Beckham uh, getting doubled off at first base? On the yeah, I think Beck. You know, he's on first base. Uh, the right fielder's position um, 
shaded way over there. Beck is doing everything he can. To, if that ball falls, he scores. Uh, Rickard made a nice play to run it down. You know, probably a little over aggressive on Beck, but it's one nothing. He knows how much his run means. Uh, he wanted to make sure he got himself going. And he stumbled on him on the way back mm-hmm. too. It's- it kind of seemed almost, you said the bun to the side of how it's going, too, that you get a really good outing from Blake Snell. Yeah, and then at the end of it, you pop up three runs. That, uh, he pitched a heck of a lot better than that. Uh, but that's that's baseball. I already saying just that he pitched so well and you didn't want to, you know, he ended up with a loss, but you've been waiting for that kind of outing from him, too. Yeah, yeah. 